Hi all, in this video we are going to discuss a numerical problem based on Carnot vapor power cycle. We already discussed about Carnot vapor power cycle in my previous video. The link is given in description. The question is, a Carnot engine contains 0.1 kg of water. During the heat addition process, saturated liquid is converted into saturated vapor. Heat addition occurs at 12 MPa and heat rejection occurs at 30 kPa. Determine a quality of steam at the end of isentropic expansion and at the end of isothermal heat rejection. b. Heat added per cycle. c. Net work developed in the cycle. d. The efficiency of the cycle. and e. The work ratio. Ok, first I am going to draw the TS diagram of Carnot cycle. Ok, I am marking the temperatures Th and Tl and also we know that the entropy S4 equals S3 and S1 equals S2. Ok, now I am drawing the HS diagram of Carnot cycle. Ok, now we can write the given data of the question. The mass of water or steam is given that is ms equals 0.1 kg. Also pressures P1 equals P4 that is boiler pressure it is 12 mega Pascal that is 120 bar. Also the condenser pressures P2 equals P3 equals 30 kilo Pascal that is 0.3 bar. We are using the unit of bar because in this steam table pressure is given as bar. Now we can find the properties of steam at boiler pressures that is 120 bar from steam table. Ok, I am using the steam table by RS Kurmi and from saturated pressure tables I am going to find the pressure of 120 bar. Ok, I found out and now I am going to write the values. Temperature Th equals 324.6 degrees Celsius that is 597.6 Kelvin. Also HF is saturated liquid that is state 4. HF equals H4 equals 1491.7 kilojoule per kilogram. Also Hg equals H1 that is saturated vapor. It is 2698.2 kilojoule per kilogram. Similarly, SF equals S4 equals 3.497 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Also, SG equals S1 equals 5.5 kilojoule per kilogram Kelvin. Now we can find the properties of steam at the condenser pressure that is 0 0.3 bar from steam table and state 2 and 3 are wet steam. Therefore we have to find the HFG values and SFG values also and from steam table I found the pressure 0 0.3 bar and now I am going to write the values. Temperature TL equals 69.12 degrees Celsius that is 342.12 Kelvin. Also HF2 equals HF3 because both state 2 and 3 are at same pressures and it is 289.3 kilojoule per kilogram. 
and HFG2 equals HFG3 equals 2336.1 kJ per kg. Similarly, SF2 equals SF3 equals 0.944 kJ per kg Kelvin. And SFG2 equals SFG3 equals 60, uh, sorry, 6.825 kJ per kg Kelvin. And now we have to find the enthalpy at state 2 and state 3. For that we have to find the dryness fraction x2 and x3. At state 2 we can write s2 equals sf2 plus x2 into sfg2. But we know that s1 equals s2 and s3 equals s4. Therefore we can write s1 equals s2 that is s1 equals sf2 plus x2 into sfg2. Now we can substitute the values and in that way we can find the dryness fraction x2. Okay, we got the dryness fraction x2 as 0.667. At state 3, we can write s3 equals sf3 plus x3 into sfg3. We know that s3 equals s4, therefore s4 equals sf3 plus x3 into sfg3. And now we can substitute the values. Okay, we got x3 as 0.374. Now we can find the enthalpy at state 2. We can write h2 equals hf2 plus x2 into hfg2. And we can substitute the values. And we got h2 as 1847.47 kJ per kilogram. Similarly, H3 equals HF3 plus X3 into HFG3. And we can substitute the values. And we got H3 as 1163 kJ per kilogram. Okay, heat added per cycle. That is process 4 to 1. We can write Q in equals Ms into H1 minus H4 and we can substitute values and we got Q in as 120.65 kJ. Now we can find heat rejected per cycle that is process 2 to 3. And we can write Q out equals Ms into H2 minus H3 and substitute the values. And we got Q out as 68.447 kJ. According to first law of thermodynamics, we can write W net equals Q net, that is W net equals Q in minus Q out. And by substituting values we can find the W net. Ok, we got W net as 52.2 kJ. Now we can find the Carnot efficiency or efficiency of the cycle, it is given as 1 minus TL by TH or W net by Q in. We are substituting the value of W net and Q in and we got Carnot efficiency as 0.432 or 43.2 percentage. Now we have to find the work ratio. The formula of work ratio is W net by 
W turbine. You have to find the turbine work. Turbine performs work in process 1 to 2. Therefore, we can write WT equals MS into H1 minus H2. And after substituting the values, we got turbine work as WT equals 85 kJ. Now we can find the work ratio. And we got work ratio as 0.614, which means 61.4 percentage of turbine work is available as network. Okay, now I am summarizing the results of the problem. Quality of steam at the end of isentropic expansion, that is X2. X2 equals 0.667. Quality of steam at the end of isothermal heat rejection. It is X3. X3 equals 0.374. Heat added per cycle. That is Q in. We got Q in as 120.65 kJ. Network developed in the cycle, that is W net equals 52.2 kJ. Efficiency of the cycle, that is Carnot efficiency equals 43.2 percentage. And finally, the work ratio is 0.614. Okay, I hope you understood the problem. If you like the video, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon also. Thank you.